I'm Zach. I'm the director of communications at PLU, and uh, and we've met before when you were a student. But could you introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Danae Magaha. Um, I graduated PLU in 2016, my word, and I believe we met because you're doing a feature for the the mast. Is that what it's yeah, called? Maybe. Mass yeah. Media. Uh huh. The um, senior year, I won a contest to travel the world, kind of this fluke um sweepstakes and we chatted then and it's been five years or so <laughs> yeah and you have have been up to a lot so i mean before we kind of launch into what's ahead for you can you sort of give us a, a you know a quick rundown of the last five years yes okay this is great because normally people ask me my five-year plan and i have no idea but now it's in retrospect so i can totally do that um so actually PLU kind of guided my future in more ways than one, because after this contest, I came home, did the barista thing, lived with my mom, and got itchy feet. So I was looking for the next step, New York, Boston, whatever, and somehow connected with um, PLU alumni who were teaching English in Budapest. And we had never spoken during our time at school together, but it was, it sounded fun and I applied and got streamlined and wound up in Budapest for a gap year and stayed for four. So that's what I've been doing. And that's where you are today, right? Mm -hmm. So um, right after graduation, you got this fellowship contest and you traveled all, all over the world, almost to every continent. Is that right? Almost? Yeah, except, except Antarctica. Except Antarctica. Because you're not a scientist necessarily, and um, no. Um, ha had you been to Budapest? I did. Yeah, I stopped there just for a weekend, and it was one of those kind of golden weekends. The weather was perfect. I had the PLU alumni show me around, mm -hmm. um, so it left a really good impression. But I never thought that I would move there. But yeah. it just kind of was in my back pocket. <laughs> yeah. so, so then this gap year came up, and. I guess, how do you go about, you know, how does your perspective change from you're someone who's traveled all over the world, is very accustomed to, I would think, all sorts of travel, some of it rough, some of it comfortable. But that's really different than making a home somewhere. So can you talk about, you know, um, I don't know, like just choosing a neighborhood, making friends, like making routines, uh, language barriers. Like how do you make a home in Budapest or how do it for you? That's such a good observation that it's a different beast entirely yeah um so i've noticed that everyone i meet who comes through your first year is just very gap year it's like you're on vacation you still have your american savings which go pretty far here you're going to all the ruin bars you're traveling on the weekend so it feels like a giant study abroad with responsibilities right um, and then as time goes on and you realize that you want to put down roots, that's when it gets a bit more real because I'm so glad to live here, but it's still normal life. Like I still have to go grocery shopping. I have to wait in line at the post office. Um, language barriers are very difficult sometimes. So I think I would just start with one interest. That's how I made friends. I went to open mic nights, um, and got into the musician community um and i slowed down like it's really tempting to jump on a ryanair flight um for 20 euro to go to italy for the weekend but i started realizing that it's it, I, there's nothing wrong with that but it's good to take time to be in your city for a weekend to go to a local cafe to just walk around um and so i think i started putting more energy into getting to know budapest instead of uh just you know, jetting off every chance I got. And that helped me appreciate my time here more. So yeah. um, do you kind of stay in your, you know, uh, one neighborhood? Are you kind of explore the city? Like are the open mics that you go to 10 blocks mm -hmm. from your house or are you still kind of exploring the whole, the whole place? Cause it's a, <laughs> it it's a, in my head, it's a, just a huge, a huge city, right? Or uh, it's not, or is it just a famous know. city? That's not huge. Yeah, maybe huge on the postcards, maybe. Yeah, okay. Um, it's actually pretty walkable, great public transport, but it's not Paris or anything. Okay. Um, 
but I find it to be very livable. Um, I love my neighborhood. I try not to leave it because it's so much fun. <laughs> um, but as far as exploring goes, yeah, I guess it's nice to walk around. Okay. Um, and the musician community gets me out of my district and gets me yeah. into things, yeah. So what is your, uh, the work that you're doing now? Sounds interesting. Um, and working for a tourism agency or something in that space? Yeah, exactly. So even though I came here to be an ESL teacher, um, eventually I realized that just wasn't my long-term place I wanted to be. So I transitioned into copywriting and graphic design, which wound up uh, with this job at a tourism agency. So we're really small. We started basically in the middle of COVID. So I guess we're a bunch of optimists <laughs> and it's more of a, a booking agency. So the idea is, is that at Ultimate Budapest, you can go to the website and find all the activities you could want in Budapest and book them all from one place. So you can build your own trip, you can customize it. And we have lots of informational articles to kind of guide you at the same time. So for me, it was perfect because I love the city and I love telling people about it on my own blog and then with this job as well. So it's a pretty good fit. That's awesome. And so I guess to wrap up, um, you got in touch with us because you have an opportunity for current students that you were hoping to share about. Okay, Lutes, fellow Lutes, please take advantage of this. So um, I thought it was really fun full circle since I won this crazy travel sweepstakes. Everyone says it's once in a lifetime. And now we get to put one on for someone else. So the idea is we would like somebody to create social media content for one month in Budapest with us this summer. The starting time is flexible. Uh, it's a part-time position, so you have time to explore the city, but basically you can show off your TikTok knowledge, your Instagram knowledge, your content creation knowledge, and your job is to fall in love with the city and document it and we'll give you accommodation. You get a thousand euro payout at the end. Um, honestly, I know it might sound a little too good to be true, but it's not, we're legit. And we just wanna give this opportunity to someone. And we just, um, this week we've been picked up by Travel and Leisure. We've been picked up by Food and Wine and Thrillist, I think. So word is getting out. Um, but if any fellow Lutes would like to apply, I would be so glad to see those applications. I think it's, I mean, come spend a month rent paid in Central Europe, having fun and making TikToks. I think okay. that sounds um, good. It sounds amazing. <laughs> um, so what's the, web, what's the website for, for, tra for Travel Budapest? Uh, ultimatebudapest.com. Ultimate, ultimate Budapest.com. Yeah. Ultimate Budapest .com. And I've been to the page. There's a big link to the, the opportunity right on the, on the main page. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for taking a minute to, to uh, talk with me and, and catch up and share about this opportunity. No problem. I hope they take advantage of it.